Hi and welcome in this drawing video. I will show you here how to draw the beak of a raven. It's a part of my full animal lesson in my membership animal art club. You can join the waitlist in the link below in the description. And now have fun watching. Okay, then let's do the base layer for the beak. I see here so different colors in there, like here above blue, dark blue, light blue, and here below gray, so silver gray, a little bit a shimmer or a shine, so a shine of yellow or earth green too. So let's plot in first uh, a light blue, I would say. Let's do here the base layer above with 140. The ultramarine light blue, the light ultramarine here. Plot that in here on the beak. Here the front part is a, a light reflection. Here let's plot in the white. So use here the white and plot that in. Also here on the tip of the beak, on the front part. And here a little bit below. Here we can also bring in a light reflection. Here we have a line. And below, let's uh, below. Let's do here the base layer also with the light blue, and then darken it down more. Let's also bring in here a layer with the ultramarine light blue, 140. And then use a paper stamp and blend this base layer. So go over here with the paper stamp and blend the blue and also here the white together. Go over with the paper stamp over the white and over the blue and blend them. <laughs> I blow away a little bit the loose pastel pigment and here below I go over the black a little bit and blend it here. We have here this feathers below and then you can use the black pigment a bit and plot it here over the blue. Here there we have then feathers that are overlapping the beak. Just blend it here a bit together, also here above. Blend along the edges, but we will also do then the background and draw along the edges. Okay, then let's bring in uh, the dark blue to our 157, the uh, dark indigo. I plotted in here below a little bit the dark indigo blue and here up above where we have here then these overlapping feathers and here on the upper part bringing a bit of the blue. We will also go over then with the black here and darken it down once more but let's bring in here now a layer of blue first. And also here above the middle line, perhaps it's better to draw first the very thin black uh, line where uh, the two parts of the beak are coming together. So I sharpen the black charcoal, use the black charcoal or the black pit. And let's draw here this line between the two parts of the beak. Here I go over very gently and move the sharp pencil forwards and backward. So that we can create here a straight line. And also here downwards. And also bringing here a little bit black above, darkening down this part where then we, where we then have these overlapping 
white and lighter feathers and then also go here along the outline here above plot in here the black and also here below bring in a little bit of black the darker pigment and then blend with the paper stamp these layers together so here the blue and the black go over over this lower part here in little circles blend this together and also here above bringing in the darker pigment and blend this together here go over in circles I also go over here more in circles and bring in a little bit more of the dark blue over this area then let's also work with 181 the Payenne's gray and go over over this lower part a bit with Payenne's gray and move the pencil here in circles and just plot in here a thin transparent Payenne's gray layer here below I also go over this middle line here very gently and here we can add such a line and also here I draw over this lower outline here once more and create here nice transitions between the darker colors and the lighter colors. Here we can also use a little bit the 172, the earth green here below, add a thin layer with the earth green. So I go over this lower part here. Here I move the pencil forwards and backwards and add here a, a, a layer and a line here with the green with the earth green very gently. You can then also go over in some little circles and blend this layer. You can also mix in a little bit of the uh, 102 of the yellow cream. Add here a gentle layer with the vanilla yellow or go over here in so little circles I move the pencil here forwards and backwards and bring in here a bit of the yellow you can then also use a cotton swab and and blend this gently so go over here with the cotton swab and blend these layers together gently and bring in again a layer of blue so here you can really mix in different colors bring in a gentle layer with the light blue I'm going to sharpen it so that we have here a gentle layer blue in there too just mix different colors very gently or I draw here along this lower edge here once more very gently also in little circles and plot in once more here above a bit of the blue go over the white highlight area Blot in and blend these layers together here, bringing in a thin layer of the blue over the, the white highlight here. And then add here again the dark blue, 157 dark indigo. I go over here in little circles and let's bring in a bit of a structure on this peak here also here above it's darker bring in here again the blue perhaps here we can use a bit more pressure and also work then with the black here and blend this with the cotton swab 
blend this gently, make it a bit smoother and go over with the black then again here. So also darken down this middle part here, bringing in here the black and also here above I add another layer with the black. Go over also in little circles where we have the transitions. Here below I add another layer with the black and so play a little bit around with the different colors and layers. You can go over the here with the paper stamp and blend the black downwards and here also upwards a bit. So let mix the layers, create here soft transitions between these layers, between the lighter layers and the darker layers here. Go over in some little circles uh, and also here this light reflection here, brighten that up a bit with white once more. Go over here over the front part of the beak in so little circles, plot in a little bit white with very low pressure here upwards. And here it's more brilliant. Here we can go over and use a bit more pressure. Yes, and then we also have here so highlights and little uh, cr scratches in the beak. So move the white over this uh, beak and bring in so little stains or so little dots and scratches. Here we have a highlight below. So let's sharpen the white and add here a fine white line below. So I sharpen the white and then let's brighten up with very low pressure this uh, area here below the, the middle line. Bringing in here a white line. And here above we also have so short uh, white strokes and here's a white dots and some some light reflections and little scratches here. Here we also have some dots and brighten up this highlight part here once more with the white. Or here are also so little scratches. Bird beaks often have a structure some scratches. Okay, we can perhaps darken down the lower part a bit more with the 157 uh, dark indigo. Go over here with the blue once more. Darken this lower part a little bit more or add here a layer with dark indigo or also with Payenne's gray 181. Let's go over here once more with the Payenne's gray and blend the layers gently. Or also here above. Perhaps also here a little bit with Payenne's gray and here very gently a transparent layer, blend the white and the blue here a bit together. Okay. Then I go over with the 102, uh, the yellow cream here very gently and add here a thin yellowish cream layer line here and blend this line a little bit upwards. Just go over this lower edge forwards and backwards. Okay. Yes, perhaps I bring in here in this front part a little bit of the the yellow and add once more the black and bring in here a bit black between very gently. And here below a little bit of the black very gently. We'll darken down this upper part. 
Okay, then let's work on these overlapping uh, feathers here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little insight into the drawing lesson of this raven face in my membership Animal Art Club, where you can find the full lesson. I invite you to join the waitlist in the link below in the description. I have developed my drawing school animal art club for you. If you are a beginner and would like to draw realistic animal portraits with pastels or if you are further along on your animal art journey and if you are advanced and would like to refine your drawing skills, everybody is welcome. I show you in the club step by step how to draw lifelike animal portraits with pastels.